Let's continue with our live team coverage. School districts did not get a, a heads up from the governor. They found out about the big change the same time we did during that afternoon news conference. Reaction from our local school districts have started pouring in. 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley is breaking down their plans tonight. Dejanique and Jordan, some of the districts I spoke with, they said they wanted to communicate to their staff first. And then some of them posted on Facebook to announce how the school day will move forward in response to the governor's big announcement, mask or no mask. Here's a snapshot of the different responses coming in from a handful of schools in our region. The majority of school districts saying they're waiting for the TEA to provide more guidance before issuing a decision, mask or no mask. Now, Lumberton ISD was the only district we found to, to commit to adhering to the governor's order, meaning no mask for those students. Hardin ISD, Port Arthur ISD, and PNG ISD have stated its districts will continue following COVID protocol, meaning they will mask up at school. BISD also sending out a statement saying they will do the same until the TEA provides additional guidance. The Texas State Teachers Association also releasing a statement saying students, staff, and teachers need to continue wearing a mask during the school day, saying, quote, the organization urges the governor to keep his mask mandate in place, especially in our public schools, and see that it is enforced. Now, the TEA, they've been working very closely with the governor's office and the state health department during this pandemic to provide guidance to Texas schools. The TEA says updated guidance will be coming out this week. We'll be sure to keep you posted. Lauren Hensley, 12 News.